The WA Senior High School in the Upper West Region has welcomed fresh students for the academic year. There's been no major expansion of facilities since its establishment in spite of the steady increase in student enrollment leaving the dormitories congested. The current enrollment of 1,961 has worsened the plight of students, leaving them with no option than to turn some toilet cubicles into sleeping places. Because the dormitories are not many, currently the population of the student is somehow larger than the dormitories that are there and also the congestion. The school also lacks the complement of teaching and learning materials. Two congested to the standard 60 to 70 students, uh, students in one classroom, which is so bad, if I may say. The headmaster, Idrisu Adam Thurtman, decried the situation, which he said is adversely hampering academic performance. I wish to say a bit an appeal. Maybe from here, you can use some 10 15 minutes for us to go to some of your houses to see things for yourselves. It hasn't been easy. We give moral talk every now and then, and sometimes when some of these students come out with very good results, you wonder because environment psychology say influences intelligence. The environment actually is not good enough. The national chairman of the WA Secondary School Old Student Association, Professor Robert Yene, described the situation as intolerable. So I've seen pictures of the dormitories, the current state, the state in which few people are living in this uh, school. That shouldn't be. And uh, we want to take advantage to improve things in this school for you to live in better uh, environments and study better. The 1980-year group of Wasosa has meanwhile supported the school with a duplication machine and two projectors to help improve on administrative and academic work. All the things that you will need, including renovation of some buildings and dormitories, including equipment to aid you in your studies and for teachers to improve on their teaching skills,